woken up to the fact that, you know, all hell's going to break loose on this front with people like Chloe Cole, you know, launching launching lawsuits. That's the only thing that's ever going to stop this. Lawsuits. Lawsuits, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Or jail sentences. So, like, it's absolutely appalling. This is part of the reason that I've also part of the reason that I felt like I've been at war for like six months. It's, it's like, so this crazy is that too much. this what you're saying here, although it's backed by the literature, it's it's obvious you have an expertise in this area. That this is this is labeled as transphobic. Yeah, this is yeah. a transphobic. Well, it's even worse than that, you know, because the data and this was known, let's say, 10 years ago before this all became an issue. Ken Zucker in, in Toronto, he was the world's leading authority on transgenderism. You know, he divided it into two parts. There's the autogynophilic types. Those are the guys who get sexual kicks from dressing up in women's clothing and then go dra do drag queen story hour. 